Welcome back legends, I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, we have a demo and an unboxing from Corbus hand-built tube pedals. This is their PlexiVibe all tube preamp pedal. So let's unbox it. The first thing that I noticed putting this on the bench was it's pretty heavy. So I feel like there's gonna be some serious hardware in here and it is all really meticulously packaged as well. This one has come all the way from Greece. It's in great condition and look at that. It's gold, it's copping the plexi vibe in more than just name. So let's see, can I pull this out? Am I strong enough with one hand? Uh, let's go main camera over here. So this thing is beautifully finished, as you can see. It feels super, super solid and super weighty. Uh, this, I'm guessing, isn't gonna be like, you know, those old zoom pedals back in the day that just kind of had a tube in them and, you know, there was a little LED behind the tube and the tube actually did nothing. Uh, this is a proper tube preamplifier. You can see that it actually runs off mains right there. There's some little switches on here. There's an on off switch and a ground lift switch. This switch here is for the bright cap. So if you want your bright cap on or off, you can set it right there. If we go to the other side, we have this, uh, is it a three way? Yeah, it's a three way little rocker switch. So you've got like a mid boost or a comp on here. I'm guessing the comp is gonna be like a Jose style saturation thing. Uh, and on the front panel, as you can see, amp style controls one big chunky foot switch on there which sounds, it sounds good, doesn't it? I love this kind of stuff. Uh, there's also a three-way mode switch on here. You will notice there is a master volume as well as a volume control. I'm guessing that's because, you know, it's a plexi vibe. So some old plexis were modded with like post phase inverter master volumes. Uh, you'll have to check the spec sheet to see where that is, but let's just dive in and actually hear this. Maybe we'll start hearing this in a little mix, you know, immediately with this sort of thing, I wanna cop a kind of like rainbow vibe with it. So we'll just lean into that. see you've got your kind of classic amp style controls on the front panel as well as this three-way mode switch. The middle position is the cleaner setting and then you have two higher gain settings. The up position is sort of like a bit more gain and the lower position is a lot more gain. Furthermore, on the side here, you have a little two-way rocker switch, which you probably can't see because it's on the side, to activate the bright switch on there. I've currently got it off. That's a pretty classic plexi kind of mod from back in the day. You clip the bright cap and at lower settings, you don't have this kind of piercing high end. Then on this side, there's actually a three-way rocker switch. One way gives you a mid boost, the center position is neutral, and then you have what they call comp, which to me kind of sounds like a like Jose style saturation switch or something like that. We will get to all of that, but uh, I've got that particular switch in the neutral position. I've got the bright cap off and you can see where everything else is. What I find is interesting is you have a volume control and then a master control on here. And the volume control I kind of think of as like, you know, the volume control on an old Plexi where it's actually kind of like a gain control. And then the master control like scales everything. So having this up higher gives you more of that classic crunchy character and then you can scale it with the master. So uh, basically I found for cleaner stuff, you still need this control up quite high and it does interact with the game control. Keep all those things in mind, let's start clean. I'll just let you hear the effect of the bright switch to start. <laughs>
that's true to form on the original amps, you can hear with the gain control really high, the bright switch pretty much has no effect. The lower this gain control goes, the more pronounced that bright switch is. I will circle back around and let you hear this is a pedal platform later in the video with a bunch of drive pedals, but uh, let's kind of stick with these settings on here, but I am gonna just show you the effect that volume control does have, which I was talking about before. So I'll start with it a bit lower and the master up higher. <laughs> gives you some really nice glassy cleans. I'm going to bring the master back, leave everything where it is, but this is with the volume all the way up. You can hear more of that kind of angry plexi character come out. <laughs> happens there is it starts to feel squishy and gooey and oh, that's really 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 nice furthermore it kind of cleans up with your volume control as well <laughs> That's bright switch on, volume cranked all the way up. Let's have a listen to what the little mid boost rocker does. I'll go to my bridge pickup. <laughs> cool let's put it back in the neutral position let's hear comp like i said earlier this sounds like a saturation switch to me <laughs> This is all on the lowest gain setting, so let's put that switch back in the middle. I will say one thing that I would probably prefer on a pedal like this is that rather than have these rocker switches on the side, I would like them as little switches like this on here, or better yet, to have them foot switchable in some kind of way like you might have on an amp. Uh, but I think with this sort of pedal, as we'll kind of hear when I run some different drives into it, I think a lot of people are going to use this as just a kind of set and forget thing. You get your favorite gain setting, you know, mid boost or comp on. Bright switch probably on for most of it. And then you're just going to do the rest with your fingers. So let's flick this gain switch up. Now we have a lot more gain. <laughs> Thank you. 
flicking that mode switch into the down position with a Les Paul is super, super juicy. You can hear there's way less of that kind of clang from the Strat with this kind of guitar. It's a lot beefier and a lot smoother sounding. So what I'm going to do is just play around with these settings. I really want to hear this with the sat switch on, but a little less gain over here. I might even just back the old volume here off a bit and bring up the master. Uh, let's go less bass because I'm playing Les Paul and way more treble. Awesome. This thing sounds like a really cool old modified Marshall. Uh, so much so that my Les Paul's going out of tune. So I'm going to switch over to a different guitar. We'll go to my PRS in drop C and then we'll hear this as a pedal platform. Let's see how chunky we can get with this. I've got my PRS in drop C straight into the plexi vibe. I've got the bright switch on over here and then the little mode switch over here is in the middle. So no mid boost, no comp, and I'm in the highest gain position. Check it out. <laughs> got a super nasty sort of early 90s thing going on. Let's hear that. I've engaged the mid boost switch now. <laughs> this time I've got it on the comp switch setting. <laughs> I think I'd get to this on this particular video, but uh, this is a PRS SE Mark Holcomb 7 string in drop G 
I think this is pretty happening with these particular settings. So this is with this compression setting on. You can see the rest of it, bright switch, highest gain mode. I like it. <laughs> The cool thing about that is, is if I tap the pickups on here and I go to the neck pickup, it actually cleans up pretty nicely. Let's hear the Plexi vibe as a pedal platform. I've got it with the bright switch off. The mode switch is in the middle, so it's on the cleaner setting and there's no mid boost or comp on. This is the starting point, just clean on the neck pickup. <laughs> What I've got is my big board of dirt and I'm gonna run a few different drives through it. I'm gonna start off on this clean setting with the Source Audio Zio on the Echoplex mode. And what I'm gonna do is kick the pedal on, play a little bit so you can hear the difference. And then I'll kind of tweak this to suit what is in front of it. So let's go. <laughs> And you could hear the effect on the drive that kicking in the bright cap had there with that big Echoplex style pre-boost. We'll go to another Greek company this time. This is going to be the Superconductor from Crazy Tube Circuits. I've got it on the treble booster setting. So I kind of, again, another like Blackmore inspired thing. We have the Echoplex. Now we'll do a treble booster. I'm going to pump up the bass on this as I go, just so you can hear the effect that that, you know, kind of high mid boost treble booster has on the sound. <music>
does that magic volume control cleanup thing, which I like so much. I have left it on that middle clean mode, but I've turned the bright switch on. We're gonna hit it with the Rev Sean Tubbs signature overdrive on just the drive side now for a kind of thicker gilmore style thing. I don't know, that's the vibe that it gives me anyway. We'll hear just the plexi vibe, then I'll bring the drive in. pedal section this is mandatory i've got my prs in drop c i've got the comp mode on the plexi vibe bright switch is on i'm on the highest gain mode and we're going to hear a boss sd1 set up as a boost in front of it and then we'll hear a tube screamer check this out <laughs> Thanks to Panos and the rest of the team at Corbus for sending this particular unit over for me to demo. Uh, like I said earlier, it feels like a serious piece of hardware and it sounds pretty amazing. It's doing everything from those late 60s kind of bluesy inspired plexi tones right through to the more modern style modded plexi stuff that we all know and love. The form factor is pretty interesting. I'm actually pretty keen to hear what you all think about this particular sort of form factor for a preamp pedal. Uh, personally, I would love something like this in a rack. I would love to try a full size head based around this because this is one of the better sounding plexi based things that I've ever tried in my life. And this video really was a pleasure to put together. I'll put some more information in the video description. And as always, if you want to support my channel directly, there's a bunch of links to do that in the video description. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.